Since 2016, scientists have suspected that there is another planet outside the known orbits of our solar system. Planet 9, or Planet X, as it is sometimes called, has been the subject of heated debate among astronomers ever since. Nobody has seen the mysterious ninth planet so far, and skeptics claim that this celestial body does not exist at all. But now, about 330 light years away from our system, evidence for the possible existence of Planet 9 has emerged. In the double star system HD 106906, astronomers discovered a fascinating new world that they had not thought possible. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. What actually happened to Pluto? Now you're probably thinking, quite correctly, that there used to be another celestial body that was thought to be the ninth planet of our solar system. Pluto was discovered in 1930 as the ninth and smallest planet orbiting our Sun. Around the 2000s, a heated discussion about the dwarf planet began. In fact, it is so tiny that even our Earth's moon is twice the size of Pluto. After space probes had delivered dozens of pictures of other dwarf planets in the outer area of our solar system, it was promptly decided that Pluto should no longer be counted as a planet. Since 2006, this has been made official. Although some circles of the scientific world don't want to accept this deprivation of its planetary status. Is there another large planet? The Kuiper Belt is a part of the outermost edge of the solar system. It is inhabited by some dwarf planets, potato-shaped asteroids, ice lumps, rock fragments, and other rather unimportant phenomena. This outermost limit of our solar system is intensely studied by space telescopes like Hubble or the observatories in Chile. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons probe passed by, providing more impressions of this bizarre world just before the transition to the interstellar space of the Milky Way. Some of the bodies in the Kuiper Belt show bizarre features in their trajectories. The only explanation for this could be, according to researchers of the University of California in Berkeley, a planet circulating far outside. This time, however, an actual planet. The assumed Planet 9 behind the orbit of Neptune would have to be mathematically about 10 times as large as our Earth. Crazy track. Impossible. Model calculations for Planet 9 showed a theoretical orbit that would have overturned everything known so far. The mysterious planet would have to orbit the Sun on an extremely inclined and eccentric path. Moreover, the celestial body would be so far outside known orbits in parts of its orbit that it would effectively leave the solar system. Impossible, cried conservative astronomers worldwide, categorically rejecting the Planet 9 theory until now. But today, the Hubble Space Telescope and astronomers from California have provided proof of the possible existence of Planet 9. A whole new world and many questions. 336 light years away from us, there is a strange planet. Star researchers have never seen anything like HD 106906b before. Exoplanet HD 106906b orbits a binary star system that, at 15 million years old, is still very young. But the really crazy thing is its orbit. The planet orbits just as obliquely and far out around its stars as the hypothetical Planet 9 would do in purely mathematical terms. Impossible, my ass. If the conditions were transferred to our solar system, this planet would be 25 times farther away from the Sun than Neptune. The assumed Planet 9 would have to move its irregular orbits 20 times further away from the Sun. Also, HD 106906b does not lie on the usual orbital plane of its solar system, but a whole 21 degrees above it. Critics argue that there is no evidence that the oblique exoplanet HD 106906b is even an original part of its system. 
It could also be a vagabond planet that somehow docked with the star system's gravity, but astronomers think that's unlikely. Rather, the traces indicate that HD 106906b has been ejected from the center of the solar system. What forces can shoot a planet through space? In California, one can find plausible explanations for this also. One possibility is that the exoplanet simply came too close to its central stars. Due to the gravitational interaction, it could have been thrown out of the system. In the case of Planet 9, proponents of the theory assume that the invisible planet might once have been close to Jupiter. When it got too close to the gas giant, it was catapulted into its unusual orbit at the edge of the solar system. To explain why it didn't fly even further away, the influence of another strong gravitational force would have to have restabilized Planet 9 in its lonely orbit at the edge of the solar system. To explain this mathematically, at least one star would have to have been nearby. For 32,000 years, the nearest star far and wide has been Proxima Centauri at a distance of about four light years. This system, however, does not provide any conspicuous features indicating an encounter with Planet 9. But who knows what our system and neighboring ones might have looked like several million years ago. Meanwhile, in the star system of HD 106906b, there is further evidence that the planet once orbited closer to its suns. Photos taken by the Gemini South Telescope in Chile show tracks in the double star's outer dust disk and a skew in the inner cometary disk that would fit such an event. The evidence that Planet 9 may indeed exist is growing stronger and stronger with the discovery of HD 106906b. All too conservative minds must learn once more that many things are possible in space. Could Planet 9 be the mystical planet Nibiru? Surely you have heard about the legendary planet Nibiru. It is sometimes also called Planet X. The theories about the existence of another large planet within the solar system have fueled speculations about Nibiru. These ideas and stories about this celestial body belong more to the discipline of popular science, spirituality, and fringe science. Nibiru goes back to old cuneiform writings of the Sumerians and Babylonians. There are several enumerations which connect real existing celestial bodies with deities or events. In several of these lists, Nibiru appears right next to old acquaintances like Mercury, Jupiter, Sirius, or Mars. Naturally, researchers stumbled over the fact that Nibiru, of all things, does not exist in this way. According to the Sumerians, this magical planet should move in an estimated 3,600-year orbit that circles around the Sun. Planet 9, however, is on an orbit which needs 10,000 to 20,000 years for one orbit around the Sun. The Sumerian culture existed around 5500 to 3500 BC. It's rather unlikely that Planet 9 would have been on a closer orbit around the Sun at that time, if it existed at all. In the ancient Egyptian culture, Nibiru is known as certain moon constellations and not as an independent celestial body. Further fantastic legends tell the story of Anunnaki, a race of gods which came from the planet Nibiru to the Earth, not in friendship, but to plunder the rich blue planet. Conspiracy theorists assume that the Anunnaki were a race that once bred humans as labor slaves. Mines in Mesopotamia are said to have been used to extract mineral resources on a grand scale. After the Anunnaki wanted to leave the Earth again, the humans were to be killed. They survived thanks to a sponsor, and today, they are no longer aware of this origin. Their own home planet, that is, Nibiru, is said to have been largely destroyed by the Anunnaki. Their greed for mineral resources and a decadent lifestyle have allegedly completely destroyed Nibiru's flora and fauna. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? NASA, of course, has already addressed the Nibiru question. It's stated several times that there is no evidence for such an astronomical object. It remains to be seen whether we will find Planet 9 one day. 
After all, the Sumerians are said to have prophesied that the resurgence of Nibiru would be accompanied by violent natural disasters and if not, the end of the world. However, if we consider that most of us have already survived the apocalyptic year 2012 by 9 years, we could also reject the idea of Planet 9. What do you think? You're probably wondering now how it could ever be that an object 10 times the size of the Earth could have been overlooked for so long. We have fantastic telescopes and lots of space probes, don't we? It's quite simple. You have to imagine that the orbits and spaces out there are really gigantic. At the edge of the solar system, the light gets fainter and fainter. The space in which a planet is orbiting out in the dark is rather immeasurable. Telescopes must be pointed at specific coordinates. In addition, celestial bodies can be obscured and thus invisible for extended periods of time in certain constellations. What do you think of the latest discoveries of researchers? Do you think the universe holds unlimited possibilities? Or will scientists eventually reach an end and be able to explain and calculate everything? And do you think there's a ninth planet out there? Let us know what you think and share your ideas in the comments section.